This is a competition that could change these kids' lives. I haven't prepped at all, so I'm screwed. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Let's right. win this thing, all right? I hope that they realize that they're all a team and it doesn't become ugly. Oh, okay, that one's going too far. <laughs> Ritzy. What? He was just on the computer looking at it anyway. Are you kidding me? Shit. I see Ben. He looks like he's ready to cry. Jesus, Jared. Well, I did, I did fill it up, actually, before I did that. This isn't the end of it. This is only the start of it. high school cooking skills competition is quickly approaching. Unfortunately, only one student can represent the school. So to determine who gets to go, I'm having an in-school cook-off. I've chosen four kids to compete. Jared, my most senior student, Phil, Cassie, and Ben. And what I'm doing is I'm pairing each of these kids up with a local chef to train under. Ritzy! Ben has the least experience, and I, you know I'm not even sure if he should be in this competition. So before I unleash him on the local chef, I'm gonna have Jared teach him some basic cooking skills so that he walks in with a little bit of confidence and he doesn't look like an idiot. What should I really teach him? Like, what are you thinking there, Polly? So I would concentrate on, on his knife skills and make sure that he can cut everything the way it should be cut and, and it's all even and consistent. For Ben, this is gonna be a two-year game. I think he needs to be eased into this competition. Take this year as his, as his trial run, and then next year, step in and go for the gold. Okay. Let's go. Gotcha. My strategy with Ben is to get him to become more passionate about food. Right now, it's Ben the goofball. Look at this spoon. I just want to eat off this spoon. Like, does anyone? We need to make Ben the goofball into Ben the chef. Well, Ben, here's what we're doing. Hopefully cedar plank salmon with like lemon and dill on top. Can I get a Atlantic salmon filet, the one in the, yep, yeah, grilled fennel, grilled asparagus, maple grilled uh, radicchio. Dude, you're getting pretty close. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, Ben, you should grab some of those as well. You still need those? Goat's cheese and hopefully some pine nuts. So it should be really tasty. Wild one. Benny, we either need hazelnuts, pine nuts. When you tell him to do something, he's quite slow at it and quite brainless at times. Ben. Yeah? Do you see them there? No? No. We'll just uh, do some. We kind of went a little fast there, you know what you think? There's no pine nuts Did at you all. know a coconut? Did you know a coconut is a nut? Did you know that? Do you know how to do this? <laughs> and we're done. Ben's a good guy. He tries hard when he wants to. That's it. As long as he works hard for me, I don't give a shit. Oh, go, 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 go. OK, not too fast. Not too fast. Ben is always goofing around. So why do I give him a chance? Because I'm not giving up on him. I know he can do better. Benny, come on, bags. Ben, we're going to do the uh, potato gratin, and we'll be uh, slicing a lot of uh, potatoes really thinly. But first, we need to chop up some shallots, get them caramelized. Get these shallots. Ben, you look for the shallots. Yeah. Grab one and start peeling it. Just remember, cut off each end. Just cut it in half, right? And then slowly, nice, even slices. Go onto a flat surface, right? Hold your uh, knife always by uh, the blade. Yeah. What's it, spider or claw, claw or whatever, claw? Yeah, and then just rock it back and forth. So do you got that? Mm -hmm. Remember, let the knife do the work, right? Yeah, that's fine. We'll see how the personalities connect in the kitchen, see if Ben can actually survive someone telling him what to do over and over again. Bring it out? Yep. A little bit of these, these shallots. Throw on some chives. This is our radicchio. Yeah, look at that. That's good cutting skills right there, Ben. 
Thank you. Right now we're about three quarters way there and Ben's doing a pretty good job. He's picking up some of these skills pretty quickly. And we're, we're really close to being done and I can't wait to try the food. First course we did was the beet salad. We did acidulated beets with roasted red peppers, spring mix, goat's cheese, candied walnuts, and then I did cedar plank salmon with chive and lemon. And then we did maple and balsamic grilled radicchio with grilled fennel, grilled asparagus, and then I did pan seared beef tenderloin, and we also did caramelized shallot potato croutine with blue cheese. There's and no when I say I, I mean uh, we, because Ben was a hell of a good teammate, so. Jared has really helped me with teaching me how to cook and how to cut, and I've learned a lot. Tonight, I'm gonna be really nice to him and uh, let him be the uh, pitcher and I'll be the catcher. Thanks, man. Thanks. Don't touch me. It seems that Ben may actually take this competition seriously. Maybe he's up for the challenge. I know it's a long shot, but I've decided to give Ben a chance to go to the competition. Ben's gonna work with chef René Delafranier. He's a perfectionist, but he's also very patient, and I think an absolutely perfect match for Ben. How's it going? Nice to meet you. All right, here's an apron for you. All right. And you can get changed right over there. Oh, right. let's win this thing, all right? If I win, uh, a lot of people will be surprised, and you know, I'll get a lot more respect, but, you know, Miracles only happen in movies. I've heard he's one of the least qualified of uh, the other students, but I'll have him in here every day, and by the end of the week, he'll be ready to go. The deal with this competition is everybody makes the same thing. Profiteroles filled with pastry cream, chocolate sauce, and garnish, and we're gonna do the garnish, okay? Uh, do I fill this full? Yep, one, so it's one cup of sugar. That's good. All right, now, there's a tap there. Just about three quarters of a cup of water. You gotta dissolve that first. The worst thing that can happen is crystallization. So if it crystallizes, it's garbage. You gotta throw it out. All right, so this is what you're looking for. See that color, that nice, dark, amber, copper-looking color? There you go. And it's all kind of in the wrist, just back and forth with the wrist, yep. This takes a lot of practice, okay? I saw progress with Ben from the first tray of sugars. They looked at you know, their little beak, a little, a little worrisome, but they, they take a lot of practice, but by the last one, he, he was doing good. But, uh, that's about 18 minutes of practice now. Each time you do it, it gets better and better, okay? I've set Phil up to work with his uncle, Chef Robert Evans. Phil's a very independent guy, and I know that Rob will allow him to be creative and to work the way that Phil likes to work. Hey, hey Phil, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Here's the menu for the uh, skills and development competition. Okay. Supposed to create a cream of spinach soup with a velouté base. That'll be a little tricky for us to adjust the proper thickness with the velouté anyways. There's a lot of information to try and remember, but I'm very bad at writing notes, and I'm even worse at trying to look at my notes. So I try my best to memorize everything. I think we got nice thickness. I'm going up against Jared, basically. I don't know about Cassie, but I know Ben's just gonna kind of be there, maybe in the way. Ritzy, we're gonna work on the main course. First of all, the uh, the chicken. Okay. And then the uh, flan, the asparagus flan. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna be Jared's mentor. I have uh, worked with Jared for the past five years, and I think it's a great way for us to close off his time in the school and his time in the culinary club. So, Ritzy, all we're gonna do is we'll take six of these. We don't need too many. Okay. And then we just want to keep the the tips, and we'll use those for presentation. We're gonna take them, slit them like this, and then just run your knife through and then we'll steam them up. Gotcha. Have you been looking at recipes for everything else? I've, I've kind of been brainstorming. I actually haven't really picked any recipes yet or looked at any that closely. Dessert, you know what you're gonna do? No, no idea. Soup? No, maybe. So your, maybe, brain, your maybe. brainstorming's been pretty, pretty lacking. Jesus, Jared. Oh, oh. I did, I did fill it up, actually, before I did that. <laughs> I did fill it up, remember? What just happened was that I left, that we left the, uh, I, I more so left the water to go in the, uh, on my uh, steaming pot and it went dry and smoked the asparagus more than it steamed it. I'm about to go see Amade for my first lesson and I haven't prepped at all, so I'm screwed. Cassie focuses a lot of her attention on her studies. I know that Amade LaMarche, the church restaurant, is gonna push her to concentrate a lot on the food, but for Cassie, it's gonna be a tug of war between her studies and the competition. How are you doing with all of your prep for the Skills Canada competition, Cassandra? <laughs> Not the greatest, actually. No. I've been 
swamped with everything else, and then... Just with your general schoolwork? Yeah. Have you practiced any of the dishes at all, or...? No, I haven't. With competitions, Cassandra, it's usually a good idea to practice the dishes on a few occasions. Right. Cassandra, I don't see a recipe here for the sauce chassa. Uh, I didn't know what that was exactly. I just looked it up the best I could. I have to say, Cassie, if you want this and if you want anything in the culinary world, it, it really will become about you making time for it. I think competition tends to be something that can really work to boost your ego. And I think to be fair to Cassie, for her to go into competition unprepared would have quite the opposite effect. It's one thing to lose, it's a, it's a whole other thing to be devastated. I'm pissed off at myself, I'm not pissed off at anyone else. It's, n it's no one else's fault. I should have been more prepared and I accept that. It's uh, 12 after eight and I was saying about Cassie, she might have too much schoolwork, she might have slept in. I was up really late last night finishing assignments and then we probably didn't get to bed till three. Hi. What's up? Is it all right with you if I don't do Skills Canada this year? Why? Because I didn't, I didn't get enough practice in it, it was my fault and I'm really regretting it. But I've just been so busy with school and everything. You only do what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I need sleep. Smile. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's feeling that uh, she doesn't want to do this because she can't commit the time, which is fair. It would appear that Phil doesn't care about the competition, that he's just doing it for fun, but I know deep down inside that he wants to win this and he is determined to do it on his own. I'm working on uh, my profiteroles. No, I'm not worried Jay is going to spy on me. He can't figure out my recipes anyways. Candied orange peel. My dessert. Yeah, I don't want Phil to hear. I'm working very hard. The stakes are growing, and I hope that they realize that they're all a team, and it doesn't become ugly. So, back off. Get away from my shit. Get off my shit. Oh, yeah, you can take that, actually. Don't need it. Oh, OK, that one's going too far, actually. <laughs> Ritzy. What? He was just on the computer looking at it anyway. Are you kidding me? We are just a few days away from the competition and things are heating up. Ben had a hugely successful weekend working with Renee. Hopefully he's not being spoon fed too much. I hope he had to do some work himself, but he's uh, walked into school today with his head very high and telling those he's competing against that he is going to win. Oh, just wait, I found something. Oh! <laughs> I was talking to uh, Chef Renee, you know, yeah. the guy who's trying to teach you how to cook, but you're too incompetent. That's funny that you're trying to psych me out. That shows you're afraid, that you're a pussy, a yeah. loser, cheat on your girlfriend with uh, <laughs> Phil. You know, it's OK, so. Oh, shit. Have a good day. I can't believe you just said that. Oh. So I know he's just trying to psych me out. Uh, it, it shows me fear. I'm the cat, he's the mouse. I slept with myself last night yeah, in the fetal be... position, shaking the whole time. And then I hacked up a lung in the morning. Yes. That's how I slept. Boys, ready? Yep. Let's go. This is Kim Cosgrove. She's from the Hi. Stratford Chef School. She's going to be your judge. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Ben. Ben. Phil. Phil. And Jared. Jared. Nice to meet you. So you guys have three and a half hours, roughly. Times are on the board. I'll go! When I'm judging these dishes today, I'm looking for basic cooking skills, seasoning, and presentation. Jared, I've got the leg up on everyone. He started cooking a lot later than the other two, but seems to have just been able to sort of streamline it and cook a little bit faster because he was organized from the start. Uh, we'll see how that plays out in terms of taste. In one minute, you can start putting your soup up. And then from there, you have 30 minutes for your main course.
You now have 25 minutes until your mane has to be up. I'm like a nervous parent. You can't say anything. All you can do is sit and watch them. And you can't direct them. Part of Ben's problem is that Ben didn't look over the rules. If he had read the rules, he would realize that Butchie was part of the competition. This is going to be a while, so... Shit. I see Ben. He looks like he's ready to cry. I think I did this one a little right. Writers I think this one is mangled. But this one, I think I did a little bit right. Tom, get out of the way. <laughs> He's fingering his chicken. Phil looks relaxed, like he knows what he's doing. Because he does know what he's doing. Morgan says he knows what he's doing. Uh, Ben's chicken looks nicely seasoned. My guess is he's cooking it a little bit early. You can start putting your mane up now. Thing might have burnt it. There are one minute left to put up your dessert and finish the competition. I can't do it. It's over. I can't do it in one minute. Oops, that one. Now you're 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Oh, what the? Oh. I, I didn't. I'm not happy with myself right now. There were some things I missed just because, you know, heat of the moment. No, I, I should. I, I, I am you know, trying to finish that. Have you played it, your shit? I played. Hey, it's tough. You can kill me. I can kill you. Well done, guys. That's the end of it, and you guys all did amazing. But it's time now for Kim to deliberate. So if you guys can boot your butts out this door over here, we'll call you back in with the uh, big result. No hitting in the halls, okay? You can hug each other, though. It's a good day, but it's stressful. It's tough watching them. Jared had my heart racing through the whole thing because he was down on the wire every time. But in the restaurant game, that's exactly what you want to be. You know what? He stayed confident and worked through it. And he did a great job. Phil is confident in himself, maybe a little too confident. He wouldn't take the advice of his uncle, the chef. And Phil was steadfast in doing what he wanted to do. And Ben pulled it off. He finished it. He, he deserves respect for what he did. He stepped into this competition. He completed all three dishes. He did a great job, and he pulled through. OK, guys, we're ready. Let's go. It's over. You guys did a great job today. And now, the results. Ben, I thought you didn't have your favorite day. Uh, <laughs> I thought most of your stuff was great and just a couple of hard breaks and a few sort of missing elements, but I thought that your soup was wonderful. Probably dessert was the hardest one, but your shoe pastry was great. Second place I picked Phil. I thought that your stuff was, was all really, really great as well. Some of the big things, sort of chicken cooked really nicely. A few little things, the soup maybe was just sat a little bit too long and was a little bit too thick. 
but I thought you, you were very close. In first place today, I picked Jared. Uh, I thought your stuff was really consistent and wonderful, and I'm sure it can only get better from here. Thank you very much. This competition has been really hard on the guys, but this is what working in the kitchen is really like. The stress of the competition will not only make them better chefs, but in the end, better people.